what we want the primary care providers to do is just to recognize levels of risk. How do you really calibrate risk for an individual based on these numbers and their age and maybe their, you know, their gender? Most people with chronic kidney disease, we should be worried about heart disease. So the vast majority of chronic kidney disease will not progress to kidney failure. They will not need dialysis or transplant, although we certainly worry about those outcomes. But the, the large risk is cardiovascular disease and heart failure. In our primary care setting, we should be thinking, okay, chronic kidney disease, how do I prevent heart attacks, strokes, and heart failure? And so the first thing we do is we estimate cardiovascular risk. And this is a great time. We have a new cardiovascular risk calculator that actually brings in measures of kidney function into the equation, which is brand new. Uh, it's called the PREVENT equation. It's just being released in fall of 2023. And that will be the, the best cardiovascular risk estimate, um, at least in North America. Although the progression to kidney failure is much less common and is mostly a concern for people at advanced stages of kidney disease, it's quite hard for a primary care provider to calculate in their head what that risk is. And so there is a terrific equation for this. It's kidneyfailurerisk.com, also known as the kidney failure risk equation. And that only uses four inputs, the EGFR, the albuminuria, age and sex. And again, this is another reason why albuminuria is so important into everything we do in terms of managing chronic kidney disease. Based on the results of, of that equation, it helps with decisions like, do I send my patient to a nephrologist? Are, are we close to needing um, you know, vascular access for dialysis? A very common primary care question is, which of my patients should I prioritize for referral? So there's two number-based answers. Um, when the GFR is under 30, a referral is recommended. When the urine albumin is over 300, and that's milligrams per gram of creatinine, that's severe albuminuria, and those patients need evaluation. 